Mai rimu rapa ki turaki rai, hoki ki uta ki tua whenua ki te wahi e kia nei, ko rimu taka. Ana kai roto i e nei hua hanga ngā whenua, ngā awa, ngā wairere, ngā poke teitei, ngā kōiwi o ngā tūpuna o tira ngā taunga katoa o tarana ki whānui, ki te upoko o te ika, e rongo e whakairi hi ake ana ki ronga, ki ronga hai, turuturu o whiti whakamaua ki a tīna, haumie, hui e, tāiki e. Oh, a tui? A tui? Mmm, tui. Probably the fantail. Fantail. Yeah, fantail. Cool. It's got to be kariaria. They'd have to be like the parrot looking one. Um, kia? Kaka. Kiwi. Kākapa. How many birds, native birds, do you think are killed each night by predators? Oh, probably hundreds. Every night? Oh, 50? Each night. Oh, goodness. A hundred? More. Oh, 500? <laughs> what is it in the thousands? Two and a half thousand. Eight thousand. Look, I'm going to take a stab and I think I'm low at 10,000. Oh, okay, I'll ballpark it like 30,000. More? Yep. It's horrible, I'm just going to get sad now. Are you going to tell us a really horrible statistic? A little known fact about Aotearoa is that we are right at the top of the list in terms of threatened and endangered native species. There's something like 4,000 species across, across the country. And so we had a decision to make. Do we let these incredible species that exist nowhere else in the world continue to slip off the face of the planet or do we do something about it? Morning team! It's just a small but effective map of what we've got up to yesterday, so it was a bit surfacing in Attica. We are Predator Free Wellington, so we're part of a national mission to try and remove every last stoat, possum, rat and weasel from Aotearoa by 2050. So our part of the mission is to figure out whether we can do this in the urban environment. And that's the whole of our capital city and 30,000 hectares around it. So phase one was Miramar. There was already this fantastic effort underway through backyard trapping and reserve trapping with predator-free Miramar and other groups, so we were basically adding to that mahi. What we've been able to achieve there is the complete removal of our ship rats, Norway rats, weasels and stoats. When we remove these target animals, what we're seeing is this incredible natural system bounce back. The change in the wildlife has been just incredible. We've had 70% increase in native birds around the peninsula. Four or five years ago, if we saw tui in our garden, we'd be all excited, and now we don't get very excited until we see maybe a flock of 20. And we get huge, big gangs of tui, and we have piwakawaka that follow us around every time we're up in the garden. It's not just the birds that are flourishing, it's also the little guys. That they're here and that they're coming tells us we're getting something right. We've definitely got over the hurdle now of how do we do this thing, so now it's just a matter of rolling through Wellington and keeping it moving. Predator Free Wellington team's on the move. Here we are in phase two, moving out west from the airport, 16 suburbs, and we're taking this to approximately 70,000 new Wellingtonians. This is our phase two buffer system. It stretches all the way from Ofero Bay right through to Waitangi Park on the coast in the north there. And the goal of this is just to reduce the re-invasion pressure of rats into our phase two project area. So as the team are working their way down through here, the volunteers will be keeping the rat activity low. So let's go. Cheers. There seems to be a real enthusiasm for this project. Everybody who lives in Wellington is seeing the benefit of all the trapping efforts that have been going on. What we're seeing in Wellington City is something pretty incredible. It is actually changing the DNA of how the city's comprised. We have a generation of rangatahi, of young people growing up in our capital city that now know what kākara. 
They now know what kakariki are or kiriru because they're seeing them every day. They're part of their lives, therefore they value them. And we think that is a pretty amazing investment in the future of our city. We're counting on everyone to be part of our team, to get on board. So come and join us, Pretty Free Wellington. Woo!